Hey YouTube, BD Kane 721 it's Thursday morning the 13th. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. Um, I have a stack of cards in front of you that I want to go through uh, to talk a little bit about the hottest topic in our hobby right now, and that is Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, I've been putting my thoughts together over the last couple of days, watching other people's videos, trying to figure out what to say. I don't really know what to say. The, the hobby is really crazy right now when it comes to him. As a San Diego Padres fan, season ticket holder, somebody that watches him every single day, I believe the hype myself. I see it uh, in person and I see it on TV every day, so I know that it's real. Uh, but it's been hard for me to justify the reality with his skills and the way the hobby is reacting to it. I don't know if it's maybe the Trout effect or the Harper effect or something that might have happened in the last decade or so with people uh, missing the train on, on some players and trying to jump on that train as early as they can before it leaves the station. But I know right now a lot of people are having difficulty justifying prices that they're seeing on cards. The hobby itself as a whole is out of this world crazy. But it, it, it definitely spurred me on to want to take stock of my own collection of Tatis cards. Uh, I started collecting him about a year and a half ago when, uh, when Machado signed the big contract and there was a lot of excitement here in San Diego and Tatis was not the kind of name he is now. So I, I was able to get a pretty good stack of cards, and unfortunately, I don't have any autograph of him. I went to the Chicago show last year for that real short day I was there in with an, an idea that I would pick one up. But even then, they were pretty high priced, and being a small collector that I am, I don't, I couldn't justify paying that price. Of course, now I regret that. So I was just going to go through the stack I have right now. Uh, this is a 2016 Bowman Platinum card when he was still with the White Sox organization. For those of you that don't know the history of how he became a Padre, we made a trade, uh, I don't know, several years ago, probably, in, I think it was in 2016, made a trade with the White Sox. Probably going to go down as being the best trade of all time in the Padres organization if Tatis continues on this trajectory that he's on where we traded a probably a, a really grizzled veteran pitcher, James Shields, which I'm sure all of you know who that is. He was a pretty good pitcher in his prime, but at that point in his career, he was you know, on the downhill slide um, heading into probably retirement. But the Sox were looking for a good pitcher, and we were able to pry Mr. Tatis and one other player from them for four shields and it just it ends up being the greatest trade that I think we'll ever see. I do have the 2016 Bowman Chrome first Bowman Chrome card which as you can see I bought for $15 about mm, at the end of last season I think at one of the shows in Southern California so it was a good deal on that obviously. The crown jewel of my collection right now is this 16 uh, Bowman Chrome Blue which is numbered out of 150. And I picked this up in Chicago, actually, the day I was there. When I went to the Chicago show, it was for a very short period of time, and I wanted to try to get an autograph of Ted T's. But I didn't see many, to be honest. And a, a lot that I saw were slabbed, and they were very expensive. And so I passed up on them and bought this card. For $175. So I think it made out good on that. The rest of the stack are just numbered cards, base cards, inserts, parallels, um, stuff that I really should go through and, and, and try to see if there's anything in here that I should sell off to take advantage of the crazy market right now. This guy's numbered at a 99. Um, Here's a uh, pro debut card of his. Here's the flagship rookie. I've got uh, three of those. 
I've got the rookie from Heritage. Here's one of those 84 tops, 35th anniversary editions. Here's a gallery card, rookie card. I do have Chrome, obviously, with a base refractor and a base prism. I do have a base Topps Chrome and a base uh, sepia version that are that are with JT in the PSA submission group. Hopefully those two will come back as um, tens, if not nines, or at least a nine. Bowman Chrome Refractor, four ninety nine. There's a blue out of one fifty. Gypsy Queen. There's a turkey red, uh, and then more of the recent cards that we're seeing today. So, got a good stack of Tatis, but um, not really sure what I'm going to do with them. I think I probably should take advantage of the market and maybe sell one or two of them. This card here, I, if I sold it today, I think I could get probably somewhere around 800 bucks for it. Slabbed, if this came back at 10 which I think this has a shot, would probably drive the price up two or three times that amount. So, not sure what I'm do. I, I would maybe love to do that, get this slabbed, sell it off, and, and buy a raw auto of his. I mean, that, that was an idea. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas of what should we should do with Tatis cards that we own, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and I will talk to you guys soon. See you.